Yo, what's up and what's going on? It's your boy DYTV coming at you with another video. And today, doing a $5 mystery tackle box. Going out and trying to get some of these bass, man. I got a couple nice baits up in here, a couple baits that I haven't seen. I mean, I hope we can get it completed. Look at the morning, man. We got a real nice foggy. Foggy morning is about to be a big old storm coming here soon. I've been working so much here lately, man. I haven't been putting out content for y'all. But today, I'm just really trying to get out there, focus up on the water. I know if y'all watch the channel, man, y'all know what lake we out at today. I didn't want to do too much crazy stuff because I wanted to really get this done. I needed to really hook up on some fish. I know y'all know how I feel on that. But let's see what's in this box. All right, just to keep this quick and simple, I'm going to just show y'all these baits as we go. Let's get it. So uh, this is the first pack. We got some trick worms, some black young trick, trick worms. That should cross them out. I'm really excited about this lure right here. I'm going to start off with this lure, and hopefully we can get it crossed out pretty quick. But this this really got my eye, that white lunker hunt prop frog, man. If y'all don't know what it is, it's basically like a whopper plopper, but it's a frog. So I don't think you can go wrong with that. Um, we got a... a Okay, we got a rattle trap, bro. Who is it by? Cotton Cordal. There you go. Got some sticky worm hooks. Need those for the trick worms. And we need them for this. We got some of those swim baits. I need some of those. Oh, I just showed y'all the back. We got some swim baits, man. Look, boom. We got some swim baits. So look, I'm not going to talk anymore. It's pretty early, bro. I'm tired. I need to wake up by just... Setting the hook on the fish, you know what I'm saying, man? So, let's get out there. Y'all stick around. Stay tuned. Y'all already know. It's your boy, DYL TV. All right, man. What we're going to start off with is this uh, Lunker Hunt. It got an LH right there. Let's get it. This thing has to be like the most dirtiest frog I've ever seen swim. Wow. First cast in a tree. You got to love it. Look at the ducks, bro. If they go over there and mess with my stuff. Get away, ducks. What are you going to do with that, duck? Dude, these ducks are just ferocious. They eat everything and they don't care. There's a bite. There's the first fish. There's the first fish. Wrapped up on the Mr. Tackle Box right there. Ooh, not the best hook set, I'll tell you that much right now. Never hooked a, hook, a fish like that. But you know what? Okay, okay, chill, chill. He lives to fight another day. He lives, he lives, he lives. Okay, first fish, a little feisty one, gone. That was decent, man, you know? Not a big fish, but he hit it, dude. He hit it good. He hit it like he was big and fought me like he was big. I almost had a little problem with these worms, but I don't think they're going to be the real problem, you know? Like... They're like five inches, and they're just so small. So, like, on a drop shot, I would have did real well, right? But I thought, I mean, when I looked at the package, I thought they were bigger. I thought they were, like, normal-sized trick worms. But that's okay, because, you see, we wrapped them up. That was through the gills, though, bro. You really don't want that to happen, because, like, you puncture one of those gills, and that can really be the end of that bass's life. Y'all know? I'm not going to really fish with this too much more, but we do got some obvious spots that just needs to be fished with a worm, so why not, right? It's a dirty bait though, man. I'll tell you that. I think that bait's gonna shine like on the dam maybe. Like has a good Oh Dude 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 I was trying to talk to y'all I was trying to talk to y'all. I was trying to talk to y'all. That's how it always happens, bro. I 
was trying to let him eat it. I told y'all this frog was dirty. I was trying to let him eat it, bro. It was a solid blower, you know? We got a fish, y'all. Oh my God, it's a big one. It's a big one, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 y'all. Yes, oh, oh. Yes. We got it on the MTB, y'all. Oh. My gosh. Please don't jump again. Please don't jump again. Please don't jump again. Please, chill. On the MTB and on the favorite ride. On the concept 13, we got a donkey. Let's go. Let's go. Bang! Oh my gosh, y'all. Do y'all see this thing? Oh my, look how he ate it. Look at how he ate that. MTB. Look at that. Oh my God. Bang. Bang. Nice little five pounder. Nah, that's maybe six, bro. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Six pounds. Would y'all give me that? Tell me. Would y'all give me that? I gotta I gotta put it on this box. Oh. <clears throat> Look, we got the MTB box. Let me put it up there and I'm gonna show y'all. Bang, bang. Y'all know how we do it over here on the channel, man. I can't even hold it up, but I feel so good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, man. <sighs> yeah. I gotta calm down sometimes, man. I be so excited. I be so excited. Whew. I did not expect that. This bait is so tricky. Look, can I, can I, can we talk for a second? Let me, let me put y'all down, okay? All right. So that fish, that fish came on this bait, this rattle trap, this rattle trap. And I'm, I want to give a quick shout out to two people right quick. And that's going to be Bacon, Bacon and Blueberries on Instagram. And then also Atypical Outdoors. Atypical always tell me that big fish goes after these rattle traps. And he strokes the rod. And that's what I just kept doing, you know. And shout out to Bacon because he gives me the motivation to fish more crazy stuff like this, bro. I never, I never have had the, the, the confidence to throw a lure 30 minutes straight without getting a bite and feel like I can still catch a fish. But like the support that y'all are showing, I would really try to dig in and get those fish, bring them to y'all so y'all can see that these baits do work. Y'all saw that, that does work, you know what I mean? Like. I've never fished this lake this way. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I fish that that uh, that dock over there, I'm always real close up tight to it. I caught that fish 20 feet off the bank, man. Five foot deeper in water, you know? Five foot deeper than what I would usually fish. So it's like, I gotta, I gotta figure out some more things about this lake instead of just trying to look for it as a shallow lake because that's not it. You can use different techniques to catch better fish or quality fish sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know, man. Other than that, big shots out to favorite and the um, Inception, bro. That real, that real, uh, really held up good. That drag system got put into play right there. Uh, that fish was definitely pulling some drag and I'm definitely glad that I didn't have my drag all the way down. So everything was smooth. I have the frog that we have to cross out now and the swim bait. So I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, the frog and swim bait tied up, but y'all stick around, man. Hope we can get it. Stay tuned.
behind me right now, behind me right now, behind me right now. Come on, D, come on, D, come on, D, come on, D. Behind me right now. They're right there in warm it right now. See how many fish we can catch. It's like just with a worm in the freaking rattle trap, bro. I feel like it can go down. Yep. Oh my god, another big one! Another big one! Another one! Another one! Another one! <laughs> oh my god, he flipped himself! Two five pounders today. Chill. That's a seven. Easy. That looks like the same fish, Marty. But I released the other one all the way down there. Look at this tank. Another one. He might be the one that goes on the dinner table, fellas. He ate it. And I'm sorry to tell y'all that. We hurt this fish. We hurt him bad. That's another one. Another six pounder. Yep. That's another six pounder. On the mystery tackle box, a little finesse worm. What I was just telling y'all, man. Big fish, bro. Big fish. Look at that tanker. Look at that tanker. Look at that tanker. Let's put her up on the box. I just want to see if she's going to go yard like the other one that we just had, you know? Yard. Tanker. 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 All right, let's put it back, man. She got hooked in the throat. I swear to God, she better swim away. I do not want to eat no big fish. Oh! Thank you, fish. I love you, man. Let's get it. Oh, that's a good one, y'all. That's another good one. A little decent one now. Yeah, come on. Let me fight you, dude. That's a good, strong fish, man. Oh, dang. Catching those big ones earlier, then he catch this little guy, but then he fights you like this, bro. What? Makes me want to keep him in the water, bro. It's good stuff, y'all. Two pounder, one and a half. It's a nice little fish. Bang. I was actually pretty skeptical about trying to fish right there, right behind you. I was like, your vibrations might have pushed off all the fish. Right? Oh my God, I cannot believe I hooked this guy. What do you mean? I cannot believe I hooked you, fella. I'm sorry. Not really, I'm, I'm glad and grateful that you bit. Just look at him though, he's so tiny. Nice. Nice, my ear. Eh. If you guys aren't subscribed to D-Wild TV on YouTube, you guys have a problem. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. You guys have a problem.